And it is the Becky, Becky, Becky. Look at her butt. Hey guys, what is up? Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. So as you can see by the title, I have a humongous cruelty-free haul for you. I went to Target, I went to Ulta, I went to town, okay? So I have a ton of stuff to get through and I'm super pumped to share it with you. We're just going to be sitting casually on my living room floor, super comfy. I've got my sweatpants on, by the way, sitting in front of my comfy couch that I love so much. And it's just gonna be a fun, a fun little vid hanging out. So that's the deal. Now that you know what this whole shebang is gonna be about, let us just get into the products. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about, I'm so pumped about because it is so beautiful. And it is this Becca palette, the Chloe and Malika hashtag Becca BFS. I think I see a pattern here. Everyone's doing like hashtags as names for their, their products. That's so funny. I've been eyeing this collection. I was definitely drawn to it because I just love like the gold and the shimmery and who doesn't love Khloe Kardashian? She's awesome and the fact that she came out with something with Becca was so cool. I feel like Becca has always really slayed the highlighter game, especially uh, since they collabed with Jaclyn Hill on the Champagne Pop. So I was just so pumped to have this in my collection and mostly because it's not just a highlighter, it's a whole palette. So I love little things like this because A, they look beautiful and B, I can just throw them in my bag when I travel and I feel like I have everything that I could possibly need and I'm not overwhelmed with a bunch of different products. Like it's so tempting to buy single products. The one I'm thinking of right now is like the Physician's Formula bronzer that everyone loves, the butter bronzer. So they came out with a sunset version, a darker one, and I bought it thinking that I had to have it of course. And now I'm just like Oh, this doesn't fit in with like my collection, you know, because it's just kind of a random piece and I would just rather have a set that has my highlighter, blush, and bronzer so I don't need to carry the extra chunky bronzer, you know? So this is going to be my new bronzer love for summer. So not only does it come with a bronzer, a beautiful matte bronzer, it comes with a highlighter, which I absolutely love. I'm wearing all of this on my face today, by the way, and it was my first time using it, and I'm so happy. I feel like a glowing goddess, and I always say that's how we should all feel at all times. So this is just perfect. So you have your matte bronzer, you have your highlighter, you have a more coral blush, and then you have a more pink blush. I just love this. I'm so excited to travel with it and use it as kind of like my everyday new bronzer, blush, and highlight combo for that whole glowing goddess effect. So really excited about this. Next, I got a mascara for myself. Now, I'm not usually a huge mascara person at all because Either I'm wearing lashes or I'm not really wearing anything at all at this point in time. So I'm not big on mascaras because it just doesn't matter to me. But when I saw this, I was shook and I just fell in love with it and I knew I had to have it. Now I've used it a few times and I won't say it's the best mascara that I've ever used in my life. It is very natural, I would say. Like it's not super, super, ooh, you know what I mean? But do you see this color? First of all, I do love the brand Tarte because they've always been like the OGs in vegan, cruelty-free, and kind of more organic ingredients. So I have always loved Tarte. But when I saw this, I'm pretty sure I was at the checkout and I turned around and saw this. I, oh my God, I almost fell on my face because this color is everything. Holy moly. So it's this really, really intense, neon pink so this is called their big ego mascara hashtag big ego lashes cruelty free and vegan of course and like i said it's more kind of natural on me it's not like i feel like it gives my lashes a ton of you know volume or anything like that but i am just in love with the color like i said can't help myself when it comes to like neon pink. Next, also from Tarte, I grabbed a Shape Tape Concealer, which is no surprise. I think everyone loves Shape Tape and everyone thinks it's the best concealer in the world because it pretty much is. <laughs> so I grabbed another Shape Tape. I have been using the Makeup Revolution Concealer 
for maybe like a month or two. I switched away from this just because I had a ton of the Makeup Revolution and I liked it. And then the other day I was doing my makeup and I saw an old one of these in my drawer and I just grabbed it and used it and I was like, oh, holy shnikes, like I need to go back to this concealer because it was just... I just saw a noticeable difference between that and the Makeup Revolution. Not to say that the Makeup Revolution isn't amazing. I love that, especially if you're looking for like a more affordable version of this. At the end of the day, I feel like you can't really compare to the Tarte Shape Tape. So it just made me want to go buy a new one. And I got the shade Medium Sand. Yeah, that is the Tarte Shape Tape. Next up, I got a liquid eyeliner, and this is the Better Than Sex Eyeliner from Too Faced. If you haven't heard of this, I'm sure you've heard of the Better Than Sex Mascara. I had never heard of this eyeliner, and I will tell you why. I have not been in the market for a liquid eyeliner in so long because I have been using the Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner for, like I said, a very long time, and I have just been so pleased with it, and I felt like I couldn't find anything better. I didn't need anything else, but... As you may know, Wet n Wild has been involved in a bit of controversy lately uh, regarding their cruelty-free status. So I decided maybe it was time to go out and find a new liquid liner. So when I saw this by Too Faced, I decided to grab it. It's waterproof, 24-hour, easy glide formula, intense pigment hold and it has a dual fiber brush and a really teeny little point which to me is really important because usually I'm doing my eyeliner super thin on the top so it's really important to have that like tiny little brush. I use this today and I'm so happy to report that I love it. Like I said I loved the Wet n Wild and could not find anything that compared. I tried so many other brands, NYX, Tarte, Urban Decay, Stila, a ton of them, and I just never found anything. So now I'm super happy because I feel like this is going to be my new staple liquid eyeliner in my personal collection, and I'm really excited about it, and I love it, and definitely recommend if you're looking for a new liquid eyeliner. Next, I got this Morphe setting spray. I have been hearing amazing things about this product for a really long time. I just never went ahead and bought it, but I constantly would see it at Ulta, so I figured why not give it a shot now. I really like the way it smells and so far so good. I've only used it a few times but I love the way like the spray is just continuous and hence the name continuous setting spray. So it's not that like it's like a nice mist on your face and like I said it has this really nice scent to it so I really dig it. I do. Yeah refreshing. It reminds me of the what is it even called from MAC? Prep and Prime? The Prep and Prime spray that used to be so popular and I stopped using MAC when I went cruelty free. But that stuff smelled so good, which made it addicting. So now I'm thinking this is going to be addicting. That is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And next up, I have this sugar scrub from the brand Raw Sugar. And this is their lemon sugar scrub. I used to have their lip scrub in this flavor. and. I I never repurchased that lip scrub because it wasn't like gritty enough for me, but I did like it. So when I saw that they had this in a whole body scrub, I was like, holy moly, that's so cool and it smells so good. If you love like fresh lemon scents, you're totally, totally going to love this. It's cruelty free and vegan. It says it right on the back there. And what I love too is that it says give love back for every product purchase. They donate a bar of soap to a family in need. So that's a really beautiful thing when something you buy can give back to someone in need. So I thought that was really cool. No sulfates or parabens, which is another really cool thing about this product. I used it today and I really, really, really enjoyed it, especially because of that smell love this stuff and they have a few other kinds as well so check it out this was a fun one and I was not ever expecting to buy something like this but when I saw it I was like oh, that is so cute it's the eco tools DIY mask mates 
kit. So this is for making at home face masks, which I thought was really awesome. I love, I don't love DIY stuff. I don't do it, but I love uh, like natural beauty regimen. So if this is going to inspire me to go ahead and make some sort of like avocado face mask and actually do it, then more power to me for buying this because I definitely am going to be trying that out now. Okay, so it's that little like pod. Oh, okay, so cute. So this is like a little dish and then it comes with this little guy, which I assume is for like mixing and then this brush, which is for applying the mask onto your face. I'm excited to to try this out and we'll see what kind of crazy concoctions I come up with for my face. So that is that little DIY mask kit. Next up, I could not resist this little guy. Oh my God, just so precious. So this is a, they call it a makeup headband. So you can put it on your head when you are doing your makeup. And I thought it was like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So I haven't used it yet because I wanted to leave the tag on to uh, show this for this video. But this is what I guess it will look like when I have it on. Is that not so cute? I might uh, start using that when I do my makeup or maybe when I do like get ready with me's, I can put this on and just feel feel really cutesy. So I don't know, I, I really do love this. Ooh, it also says when you apply with a face mask. That is such a good idea. So I'm going to do the DIY mask and then wear this. How cute. Okay, I'm really excited about that. We have to get on finding a, a mask recipe ASAP. Moving on, I grabbed some natural deodorant. Now, obviously natural deodorant is kind of all the rage right now because we know that aluminum is really, really harmful and there's all that crappy stuff in typical deodorant. Uh, also, it is hard to find a cruelty-free deodorant. So you kind of want to go like the healthy, all natural route when it comes to to these guys. So I think the brand name is just the healthy deodorant and I got the lavender vanilla scent. They call it La Vanilla, so that's really pretty. <laughs> La Vanilla. No aluminum, no sulfates, no parabens, and I think the packaging is so cute. I'm excited to try this. Let's see what she looks like. Mmm. That smells really good. It smells really good. Ooh, I love that. This, yeah, this I'm gonna love so much more, I think, than the Schmitz, just because of the way it's like designed, so it's not gonna get all messy. And it has like a waxy feel to it, and it's like cool too, which is nice, like a cooling, cooling sensation, like temperature-wise, and it smells good. So, yay, I'm super happy about this deodorant purchase. Next up, I was kind of a sucker for this packaging too. It is the Kula Daydream Mineral Primer. So I have used Kula before for their sunscreen back in the day. Now that Kula is in Ulta, I think that's pretty darn cool because they are a very all natural brand. And this, like I said, I just couldn't resist the packaging. Like how stunning. So I decided I needed this because I don't have a day-to-day -day sunscreen for my face and especially since we're getting into summer as we know it is so important to wear a sunblock so I decided why not have a primer and SPF in one it says featuring a bouquet of iris white lily and honeysuckle plant cells which Sounds good to me, honey. This is what the bottle looks like. It's a beautiful little white glass bottle. It's just, I don't know, this is very calming to me. It smells delicious. It smells very like botanical. And I've been using it for the last few days as my primer and I have no complaints. It's nice to know that I'm nice and protected when I go outside. So definitely recommend something like this, something with an SPF, especially getting into these summer months because we want to protect 
our skin. So that is my new primer slash sunscreen by Kula. Next up, I grabbed a couple brushes. I just just pick a couple Morphe brushes that I love. These are, what are they called? Pointed Mini Blender Brush M507. And as far as these blending brushes go, I feel like this is just a staple. Like, I love these brushes so much. I feel like I can never have too many of them. So I got two and they work very, very well. I absolutely love these. And again, I feel like I can never have too many of these fluffy blending brushes. I am so excited to use this. Uh, I've been wanting something like this for a while because I deal with that like hard kind of callousy skin on my feet. I know that's kind of gross, but it just is what it is and I've been searching for something that can possibly help. So I wanted like an actual pumice stick and this is what I found at Ulta and I was like totally sold, especially with this handle on it. It gets annoying to hold a pumice stone and like, you know, try to do the bottom of your feet because it slips everywhere and it's just a total mess. So the fact that this had something to hold on to totally sold me and I'm so excited to put this in my shower. It's by the brand Earth Therapeutics by the way and it's just this little guy. Oh yeah, that's super rough. Yeah, that's going to do the trick. So that is that pumice stone. Very excited to use this in the shower. Next up, kind of on like a similar note there, I found these exfoliating hydro gloves. I do love exfoliating now because I do spray tan so often and I feel like it's also good to just get off that dead skin and leave you with like nice, glowy, healthy, smooth, beautiful skin. When I saw this, I was like, that is such a cool idea. So it's these exfoliating gloves so basically you can wear gloves while you exfoliate yeah basically you're just going to put these guys on let's see how this works ho oh ho so you got your exfoliating mitts on and then oh yeah oh that's going to be nice so I'll definitely be putting on that sugar scrub that I got and using these to exfoliate my whole body. That makes it so much easier too because I feel like when you use that handle, you're like, I don't know, it's just annoying. So these are gonna make my life a lot easier when it comes to exfoliating. So I'm excited about that. Next up, I grabbed a tanning mint because I thought it would just be good to have one just in case. And when I saw this design, I was sold. It's just so beautiful and I just love the color and I figured I haven't had one in a while. The last few times I've done my self tanner, I use my hands and it just, it's not, not pretty. So I keep mentioning that I do spray tan often now. I rarely self tan anymore, but when I do, in the rare case, it's nice to have one of these. I feel like this is pretty essential when it comes to self tanning. So that is my new self tanner mint and the brand is Vita Liberata, by the way, and they have a lot of really good self-tanners if you are in the market for a self-tanner. So let us move on to Target, which is, Target is bae, okay? I love me some Target. This is the stuff I got from Target. It's not as much as Ulta, but I figured I would throw it in here as well because I got some good things. So first, let me tell you. I got some brushes. Now all of these are dirty because I've used them all but I wanted to throw them back into the packaging just to kind of show you what they look like. I got a few e.l.f. brushes. Always heard really great things about them. So I bought two pointed powder brushes which are just amazing brushes to have. They're very multi-purpose. You can use them for bronzer, blush, you can use them for powder all over the face. I like how they're pointed because they can just like sit right under the eye really easily. I also like using them for bronzer all over the face. I got two of these guys and I was blown away by how soft they were, I have to say. So definitely recommend to pick up an e.l.f. brush or two if you're in the market for a new brush because they are so soft. Just really good staple brushes to have in your collection. So that was the pointed powder brushes. Now I also got these blurring brushes which are a little shorter and more dense. 
Again, they're dirty, I'm sorry. I have been using them and absolutely loving them. So this one, like I said, a little more dense, but you can still use this for bronzer and blush if you wanted to, or you know, to buff and powder all over the face. You can also use it for liquid products, so you could do your primer or your liquid highlighter or your moisturizer, that's what I did today. So these are just really handy dandy to have, and I'm so glad I picked these up because now I know e.l.f. brushes are are where it is at. I also grabbed these little guys. I want to show you how cute it is that, hopefully that focuses, yeah, that it says cruelty free and vegan and I just think it's like the cutest little, little package. These are little smudge brushes. These are totally necessary to smudge out the lower lash line and they just come in handy so much. So you can't go wrong with one of these. They are looking like that and yeah I got two of those just totally come in handy and I absolutely am loving these so 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend aka you so go get some elf brushes if you need some next let's talk about these beautiful things right here so I have been eyeing these at Target for a while and this packaging is so up my alley it's opalescent it has this like rainbow effect if you if you kind of twirl it like that they're just beautiful we can't deny it so I saw these and I was like oh my god I think I need to buy these so I didn't buy them right then I I was tan, I didn't really need to buy them. And then today when I was at Target, I knew I was going to be filming this video today and my spray tan has honestly pretty much come off. So I figured it would be a great day to buy them and try them and let you know my thoughts on them, which I actually have put on my Instagram story. Maybe I'll insert my little, my little story here to show you guys. Okay, so here is the before with like no filters or anything. I'm gonna try to do the after with kind of the same lighting situation and hopefully we will see a good difference. So all I did was exfoliate in the shower and then I used a mitt and put on the tanning mousse and we're gonna wait like an hour. I think one to four hours is what it is and then shower it off and then we'll see if we see a difference. So here's the before. Okay, this is three hours later and sadly I feel like I don't see a difference at all. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't see a difference. I don't feel like it did much. So possibly another hour could do a little bit more. But for now, I feel like I'm on the fence and I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I just feel like it didn't really, it didn't really work. So that is a bummer, but it's okay. Uh, there's always a spray tan. Sadly, they didn't really work for me. I think maybe, maybe, maybe I got like the teensiest bit of like a glow, but other than that, I really saw no difference. And when I do a self tanner, uh, like my loving tanner, my Vita Liberata, like I want to notice a big difference, you know? So I didn't notice a difference with these. So I would say maybe if you're, you have very fair skin and you're only looking for like a little like sun kiss, like a little, like not even a kiss, like a, a peck of sun, then maybe these would work for you. If you're like me and you're looking to like, get dark then this is just going to maybe disappoint you so that's my two cents on these I hate when I have like a not great review of products because I just love to like love everything and be happy and you know but I gotta be honest this didn't really do the trick so that is the deal with these but they are so stunning I have to say just so beautiful Next, I grabbed a Real Techniques sponge. I could not resist this one because of the color. It's this like baby blush pink, which is my absolute favorite color at the moment. I can't say anything bad about the Real Techniques sponges. I have a lot of them. I wouldn't say they're as good as the Beauty Blender. I think the Beauty Blender will always reign supreme over all other beauty sponges, but I will say that Real Techniques is pretty darn close. So if you're looking for a beauty sponge, I definitely recommend the brand Real Techniques. They also have really good makeup brushes 
and yeah they're just an all-around really good brand so I mean this color I couldn't resist so this is what I've been using to actually do my highlighter now and I just get it a little wet and I press the highlighter into my skin and it gives it that like glowing you know your skin but more highlighted kind of effect <laughs> so I love 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 this next up I saw this gloss from elf and it said a lip plumping gloss and it was just this like nude peachy pale color and I haven't tried it yet maybe I'll try it on right now I feel like having an everyday gloss is like so necessary and doesn't hurt to have a few of them so I wanted to try this one let's see what it looks like <gasps> oh I love it oh my god I love it oh my god that's so pretty Okay, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I love it because it's not like thick. It just kind of sits on my lipstick really, really nicely without like glooping it up. Do you know what I mean? Like if you just want a little, a little shine, <gasps> I love it. And I always love a lip plumping effect too because I love some big lips. It's called Champagne Glam, which is such a cute name too. And it is the lip plumping gloss. I wonder if it's gonna get tingly. I'll let you know. Next, I saw this little guy and I couldn't resist. I've seen them a few times. They have like a whole line out now. This is the brand Pacifica, which I am obsessed with. Seems to be a brand that caters to the whole like women supporting women lifestyle and you know, holistic and natural and crystals and balance, mind body connection, all of that good stuff that I love. So I love what the brand stands for and I, I just love this packaging. I think it's so cute the way they're like marketing this stuff. So the one I chose was the Seek Balance, which is the plant probiotics, coconut and antioxidant. It says vegan formula, nutritional supplement. So these are all like supplement powders. So I chose this one because I like to take probiotics and I actually have ran out of my probiotics recently so I don't have one at the moment so I decided it wouldn't hurt to try this what it is is a powder you mix it in with your water you do one to two scoops one to two times a day I think yes and then you drink it so I have been drinking this for the last like week and I really like it I love the taste it kind of makes me feel like I'm drinking coconut water and I really really like it now the reason I won't buy this again is because it is sweetened with stevia and personally with my nutrition I just don't like having artificial sweeteners of any kind. I actually used to have a legit addiction to Splenda like I should have been on one of those crazy TV shows because I would get nine in my coffee every day like a large coffee I'd get nine and I'd probably sometimes have like two or three coffees a day I would put it on my salads like I would put it on fruit I would put Splenda on everything I would steal Splenda packages everywhere I went from like diners I would put them all in my bag like ugh, I had some issues <laughs> so not only is our artificial sweeteners like something I've just given up but I just don't find them to be like necessary there's no really in my opinion nutritional benefits so the fact that this is not you know naturally sweetened and it's sweetened with stevia which I know is like technically a natural sweetener but I don't know I taste the artificial type of stuff in there because I do eat so clean so to me that kind of just diminishes the health benefits and I won't repurchase but I'm definitely just gonna finish this bottle because why not it's not gonna hurt me and I like the way it tastes and if you know you want to try it I say why not I think I think it's really cute so so yeah that is my two cents on this Pacifica vegan beauty powder next up I saw this at Target and again sucker for the packaging I have never heard of this brand, but they are a cruelty-free brand. They're called SGX NYC. And this I thought was really cool because it says dry shampoo meets hairspray. So I was kind of looking for a dry shampoo because I've never used them before. I've never seen 
the reason to do so personally but the other day for some reason my hair was like very greasy on top and I was like oh this is terrible like I wish I had a dry shampoo so that's why I went out and I was kind of looking for a dry shampoo uh, but I didn't know what to get I got overwhelmed at Ulta because sometimes it's so overwhelming like there's so many products and you're just like what do I buy so I didn't get one there and I was like maybe I'll see one at Target so this is the one I saw and the fact that it is dry shampoo meets hairspray is so cool to me because I don't really use hairspray. I just, I'm not a hair product type of girl, but I feel like I need to start to dabble in that, in that world a little bit, especially since now I have like the tape in extensions and you know, I have to make sure I'm taking care of them and I want my hair to look good, especially like for filming and you know, it's just, it, it's fun to experiment too. So. Anyway, the fact that this was dry shampoo meets hairspray, I felt was a very good like introductory kind of product to me starting to use both dry shampoo and hairspray. So, so far so good. I like the way it smells. All I really do is spray it in my root and like a little underneath and it gives like a little bit of a volume and I'm sure it holds like curls into place. It'll be good to try and you know, I thought why not give this give this a whirl. So that is the SGX NYC, what is it called? Do it all, three in one dry texture spray. Next up, I'm very excited about this right here. So when I was in Disneyland recently, my girlfriend brought her straightener and I used it and I was like, okay, well now I know my straightener sucks. <laughs> it made me really want to go out and buy a new straightener because I have had my straightener for years. It is a new me, I believe, which is an awesome brand and it actually is the same brand that my friend had. So I think it was just a case of it being so old. It's probably, I want to say it could be like four to five years old. Like, is that super old for a straightener? Probably. So it doesn't really work well anymore and like I said I discovered that when I used my friends so I was on the hunt for a new straightener and when I saw the color of this one I fell in love as you can tell I'd love anything like lilac -y, blush pink this is the brand called Eva NYC now I know she sells an Ulta too let's open her up together ah, so beautiful let's see what this says feminine and edgy playful and smart urban and bohemian okay eva represents the duality found in real women love that we stand for a community that embraces a beauty lifestyle that is unregimented fun and free i love that too born in brooklyn oh my god i'm from brooklyn okay it's meant to be girl power and world domination one strand at a time so I love that. I love a brand with a good message and I really love a brand that's from Brooklyn like me. So here's a warranty form. It's like so sleek. I just I'm loving this. Show you up close what it looks like. And then it's like gold in there, which is really cool too. Pumped to try this. You'll be seeing me with straight hair very soon, I'm sure. <laughs> so lastly, I'm gonna talk about something that I actually didn't get at any of these stores, but it's a big part of my beauty routine, so I figured it would fit in and I would share it. And it is vegan and cruelty free. It is this White With Style Teeth Whitening LED Kit. So they did send this to me and I figured I wanted to share it with you guys in case you were looking for like a new way to whiten your teeth that was less harmful than white strips. I used to use white strips all the time and my teeth, A, they're not cruelty free and B, my teeth would get so sensitive to the point where like it was so painful. I love that I found these LED whiteners because they do like literally work and make your teeth so bright. So this comes with this little uh, tube of whitening gel as well as this LED whitener. And then it also comes with these little molds which actually form to your teeth, which is really cool. So you have like a custom mold and then you put the gel in there, you put it on your teeth and then you have this little guy and you turn it on and voila. 
and then you just sit with that for like 30 minutes I like to just like edit pictures on my phone while I'm doing it like whatever and then your teeth are nice bright and white which I feel like is so important to any kind of beauty routine that is that they gave me a coupon code which I think brings it down to like $26 so I'll put that in the description as well if you're interested in getting yourself an LED teeth whitener like I said I do use this and really love it it works so well and the fact that it's vegan and cruelty free I just had to share Woo! okay I think we got through everything which is amazing that was so much stuff so if you're here with me till the end oh my god I love you thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed please let me know what you think if you like anything if you might try something if you don't want to try something uh, I would love to hear your feedback and if you have Instagram and want to connect with me there I would love to do so I'm very active on Instagram I'm constantly in the DM so if you have any like questions comments or just want to chit chat I would love to do so hit me up, slide in my DMs. <laughs> I am sending you lots of love. I love and appreciate you, and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Ow. What am I trying to say? Pumice stone. It's annoying to like hold a pumice stone and like, that looks really wrong. You have a more coral and you have a more peach. So, no. This is my new BFF. My Becca BFF. Hashtag Becca BFF. Although it doesn't really like stay shut, does it? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, no. Is mine broken? Oh, there we go. What the fuck?